Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. The useless car challenge is back. Here on Forza Motorsport 7, today I am using the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Let's see how it goes in A-Class. So the first race, Suzuka East, starting fourth place thanks to test drive in the previous race. Getting a fast clean lap in and look at the launch of this thing. As you can hear, powered by a Hellcat engine. So cool to have this thing. And you'll notice a bit of a paint job in this car. Um, it's got my Newton Motorsports YouTube logo on it. So you guys are wondering what that is. Anyway, clean through turn one. I haven't been punted off. Anyway, we go to lap two and I've got a Lotus Elise right up behind me. Fair enough. Much lighter car, meaning a lot more nimble around the corners. So as we get out of the S's, and go into the last turn, I just have to, you know, brake a bit early because it's a very heavy car this. And all of a sudden the Lotus comes from the inside and we've got no room and we've both punted each other off. Oh, and I, I thought to myself, you know what, you go ahead mate because you were in front when the collision happened. Anyway, down to 8th place it was and then I think that's an old Volkswagen Scirocco. We end up battling for the next five or six laps. So it was like this hammer and tong the whole time. So if, believe it or not, the Wrangler was probably the better car through the twisty stuff. Yeah, and as you can see, the Scirocco has got much better top end speed. And look at the braking. Much better from the Jeep. And then he gets a little wide. Yep, very wide. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a front wheel drive car. Who knows? Anyway, finish off. Wait. I'm getting by this Alpha here for 6th place. No, only 7th. But look, that's the first race in this thing. Anyway, next race was at Lime Rock. And this, it features the South Chicane. Pretty sure this may have been... No, it was the same lobby. I, I apologise. Anyway, very good launch thanks to the all-wheel drive. As we go to turn 1, I know this thing doesn't handle well. So I'm just like, look, oh, hello couple of guys are punting each other off. I don't know if I caused that. I don't think I did. Anyway, the top six, including myself, was starting to get away from that from that pack that was, um, you know, causing a bit of trouble. Anyway, as you can see, the Porsche and the Esprit, they're, they're going all over the place. The Alpha, no, it's a Porsche 906. He's been punted off by both the Alpha and the Lowe's. All of a sudden, South just came. Look at this. Oh, now that's could have been disaster for myself. That is a lucky escape. Look at this. So the Porsche has gone in way too wide. <laughs> and the tire wall and the Porsche together just catapult the Lotus. Wow. And somehow I avoided all that. I basically went underneath the Lotus. Crazy stuff. Anyway, lap three, South Chicane. I've hit the tire, or I've just grazed it. However, it's enough for the Chevy Nova to get past. So, that's unfortunate. He was handing me down a bit. And being a... Look, it is a muscle car, but it's a much lighter car than this thing. So, it can always keep up. Anyway, lap four, same Chicane. He's gone in way too hot in the first part of the Chicane. Hit the tire wall. I'm back in the third. Not bad. However... Lap six, the Nova is caught up, and there's a back marker. Probably done the same thing. That was the guy that picked me to the post for sixth place at Suzuka. Anyway, as you can see, the Nova is very close behind. So I thought to myself, look, oh hello, you always almost thought about it around the outside. Keep keep my line, and the Nova has gone way too hot, and is down to fifth, and it's a podium for the Wrangler. Third place, not bad at all. Avoid the carnage as much as I could, and that's what happens. Next race, Indianapolis Grand Prix. As you can see, someone else has decided to go with the Wrangler, so good on him. Two useless cars in this race. Anyway, we get by this Honda NSX. So it's two Wranglers and a Porsche up front. And look at this, it's a one-two for the Jeep Wranglers. Get around us. As we get into turn one, of course the Porsche came in has got better better grip as I get a little bit bit of a punt from behind but that doesn't matter however the Porsche has just hit the curb 
and just and the curve just sent him straight into me. That's just bad luck. Anyway, I'm in seventh place now. It could be worse, but what can you do? As we go to this really fast chicane, part of the, the current Grand Prix circuit at Indianapolis. As we go into the, this very twisty bit, now this section, uh, track limit's completely new now, so you, you can't get away with smashing tires anymore. As that car just there, went a bit wide and that was all that happened. I ended up finishing 6th place. Pretty sure the other Wrangler finished 5th. So not too bad. Next race. Bathurst. Starting on pole position. Let's see how we go. Look at the launch of this thing. Just pulling away from everyone. That's all wheel drive grip for you. However this is an SUV so it's not going to be that great in the corners. However through Capel Corner. Look at all the smoke. There is absolutely pandemonium back there, and I'm and I'm just, you know, I'm just telling everyone see you later. However, there's a Mustang right behind because you know he's got a V8 in this, in that thing as well, and is a much lighter car. As I get a little sideways out of the chase, as we finish lap one into Murray's corner, very defensive line here. I'll, I'll, I wanted to try and keep the lead because. There's not many times you race at Bathurst in multiplayer, sadly. Such a good track. I'd rather race here 100 times than VIR, let's be honest. Anyway, Hell Corner. Oh, the Mustang's lagging a little. I'd go for the defensive line. However, look, I'm flat out here. However, the Mustang has got much better top end speed. As you'll see, he just gets by very easily. It's a shame. But what can you do? It's an SUV. That was the guy that used the other Wrangler at Indianapolis, believe it or not. So I, I don't know why he hasn't stuck with it. Mainly pro probably because he wouldn't have gone anywhere. I don't know. Anyway, what can you do? Second place. I started from pole. Finished second. But I really wanted to get the win. Anyway, Homestead Road. Starting second place. Got a Camaro in front. However, bye-bye. Look at that launch. Just pulling away from everyone. Such a good car off the line. This does not have race tyres, mind you. And we go into turn turn two, if you call it that. There's a fair few off, as you see. Now, this tight section, the Camaro can just get very, very close if he wants. However, it's gone in a bit wide. As, yep, I have taken the whole shot. Still in the lead. You know, for some reason, Homestead is a... Is a a favourite of mine in regards to results in multiplayer. I mean, it's not my favourite track in the game, but look, if you're going to get good results at home, said then happy days from that point of view. And you may be thinking, did anything else happen? Nope. Lap four, the Camaro has actually caught up a little in the last lap, mainly, mainly, um, mainly because he probably he was probably used to the car and the track combination at the time. There was a back marker there, but he looked like he quit just before I got to him, so luckily no no ram is there. As we go into off the oval section, you know, you can't can't use it can't use that blue section anymore because that's dirty now. But I've still retained the lead. Something's happened with the Camaro there because he was very close at the hairpin. But you know what? This may be a car that doesn't belong in Forza Motorsport 7, but I've won a race in the Jeep Wrangler in A class. There you have it. So, if you want to give this car a go, the tune is called A class and the description description is called A class. If you like the video, smash the like button, leave a comment for requests and feedback. Want to see more? Subscribe and tap the notification bell. If you're up for a chat, check out my Discord. Anyway, this is Jeff here and happy racing. Cheese.